Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm reaching you live from uh, Abuja. A few hours after I was granted bail by magistrates uh, of the Wuse Zone 2 Magistrate Court section. Uh, I was uh, arrested on January the 1st, 2021. Uh, as they usually say in those days, Nigeria used to choose and announce the name of the child that is first born in the New Year's. I think this year they had to name me as the first person to be sent to detention in the new year. So this is my first new year day uh, because they decided, uh, as they usually do, to send me to detention. And after I was brutalized, my nose broken by a mobile police uh, officer, I was sent to a judge who, in her wisdom, decided to send me to prison for no reason because she said, uh, our bail uh, application wasn't properly done. Uh, after one day in prison where I was put in um, a death row, practically a death row, me and my colleagues, put in this death row uh, cells, and we came back and we were sent to police FCID in Abuja. And that's their office in Abuja here. The FCID is the Police Force Criminal Investigation uh, Department who then decided to lock us up in a cell, inside a cell. You know, I don't even want to tell you what uh, we went through, but there's nothing new about it. This is what we're used to. This is what we do for a living, fighting for freedom and fighting for a better society. And I, I'm reaching out to you guys tonight on Facebook because uh, I saw you guys did marvelous, fantastic work, uh, reaching out to us, fighting for us, even when we didn't have access to internet at all. And um, I just want to thank you guys so much. Wish you guys Happy New Year for those who have not had a chance to uh, to be greeted in that manner. And to also assure you that uh, we're fine and uh, really committed to liberating our country, Nigeria, in our lifetime, in our lifetime. And so I, I, I just think it's also important to talk to you people. When I mean you people, those of you who follow me, those of you that I follow, those of you who are amazing people, that there's nothing to be worried about. Uh, we've reached a point that we can't turn back anymore. We must, as a matter of a necessity, as a matter of conscience, put an end to the misery that has been visited upon us by the current political leaders running Nigeria, these criminals running Nigeria. While we were in detention, there were a lot of threats. Uh, of course, they were saying that you will not leave. I uh, will jail you till the end of the ten of the regime. I spent five months with the GSS, and I was prepared, uh, even if it to take my life, to continue until you know these guys realize that we cannot continue to live. This is no longer sustainable, and I've always said it. When I ran for office, I was calling for a revolution when I, uh, when the elections were over and rigged in support of uh, Buhari. I called for a revolution and I will continue to call for a revolution because it's the only way this country can survive as it is uh, to guarantee justice to all, to guarantee respect for, I mean, to all our citizens and to allow the citizens to have access to resources that are guaranteed to them as well, which has been cornered and stolen by these criminal elites who are in position of power, both in the judiciary and the legislative sector. And uh, the, uh, the executive branch of government, these guys are a bunch of lawless people. Uh, I just want to let you know that on behalf of my colleagues, four other persons who were detained with me, we just want to thank you so, so much. And uh, I have a little bit of uh, information to share with you. <laughs> when we were about to leave uh, the court today, the magistrate called us and I said, the magistrate was handling this case. And she was uh, very upset that some people threatened her. And she accused me of uh, being the one inciting the threat against her. And, and, you know, I took time to explain to her that uh, first I have no access to telephone. And Nigerians are not stupid. If uh, they come after you because of what happened in court, 
don't put that on me. Uh, but secondly, I said to her, look, madam, um, you have to recognize that uh, this country is changing, whether you guys like it or not. You know, uh, so I want to call on those of you who sent that threat or upset, just leave her alone. She's, uh, she claims, or you all already know what they claim, that they're always doing their jobs. Uh, let's focus on our real enemies, and these are the people at the top, the people who give instructions to people. She singled me out uh, to be giving harsh bail conditions, but I don't, I don't really care about that. I, I have a harsher bail condition granted by another judge. This is the second one. But we have passed that stage where we are afraid of bail conditions, or we are afraid of detentions, or we are afraid of getting killed. You know, we have to just recognize that we have rights to live as, you know, citizens of Nigeria. And if we don't, is that we have the right to live or we don't have the right to live? So I just um, want to reach out to you guys again. I said on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, I, I recently just concluded my Instagram post. Thank you guys so, so much, so much. I want you guys to rest assured that this will continue. You know, you, there's no going back, no going back. And I want to particularly thank so many of you out there. Rita, I do say, I see you. I see Olu, Paloe, uh, Humble Prince, Oshola, Oshola, Le, Oyenike. Thank you so much. Ebony Bray, uh, Ekolide. Thank you so much. Gaddafi uh, Salam, Ayo Ogundimu, my great brother there. Happy New Year. Adebowale Tinumbu. Comrade Williams of Sayande Rabo, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I know what you guys have done. Sanko Sources, you know, Ibrahim Showa, thank you. Uh, thank you so, so much, all of you. Olato Williams from New York City, Ayolua, Austin Simpu, uh, Ken, um, Osam Muyime Abu, Chief Agas, Lights, all around. Thank you guys so, so much. I really, really appreciate what you guys did in ensuring that uh, these guys didn't rest for one day. One day, for the 11 days that we're detained, we're getting information from our police guards. People were guarding ourselves that Twitter was burning, you know, Instagram was on fire, Facebook was not resting. These guys had no rest. The judge, I mean, the magistrate confirmed it today. She said she got over four, 200 and 50, I think 280, 35 messages, only two of them were favorable. Uh, she confirmed it that people are no longer taking it lightly. Uh, I just want to uh, thank you guys so, so much and guarantee you that revolution now is here to stay. There's nothing they can do about it. Nobody can snuff life out of it. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than everybody. It's bigger than all the machinations of the police, the DSS, the army, all of these guys were always plotting. They, they, it turns out that they've been planning to arrest me for two months now until they found an opportunity to do so. So, and today they were really scared that people might invade the police, uh, FCID headquarters where we were detained and had to quickly take us to court. I, I'm, uh, I'm just giving you guys feedback to know that sometimes when you think what you are doing is not noticed or little, it has massive impact. I want to give you an example of Abateo. This is the most notorious SARS cell in Abuja, where before we got there, they had 700 detainees. They said every day at least two people die of either hunger, gangrene, or infections. But because of NSAS, uh, they reduced the number to 70. And when we arrived there, there were about 76 people. The day we left, which was last Monday, eight days ago, they released another 40. So only about 36 people are left there. That is a detention uh, center that used to hold 700 people. And it has an underground cell. But so look at what your efforts are. You save 700 people in just one cell alone. So when people tell you that NSAS did not achieve any purpose or that it was a waste of your time, but tell them that I told you that you saved 700 people at Abateo SAS detention center in Abuja, where I was detained for four nights, about four or five, I mean, about three or four nights. So, 
and we should not be thinking about anything else but thinking about our next action against these people because apparently they haven't learned their lessons they haven't thank you so much um i just uh, i want to thank all of you i can't mention all your names and it's getting dark over here uh in abuja but i see ambassador soji thank you babala taiwo thank you sunday adoption thank you yes the, the intention is to use all these methods to shut my mouth but it's not going to happen uh in fact when i was leaving the church today and you know uh, she said something to me and i said something back to her she said so it's your mouth that's putting you in trouble and i told her this my i was born with this mouth and nobody can shut it up and I when there's justice there will be peace and that's how we left it. Yes, yes. 700 people saved by NSAS in one police station. That's Abatio Police Station in Abuja. Coach me any day, anywhere. Uh, and after we went there and we left, we saved another 40. You know, when you see people in police stations in Nigeria, they're just mostly innocent people, you know. The, the police uh, force has become an extortion racket where people are picked up on the streets, you know, uh, and just punished. I have a friend that I met who I've been fighting for. I met him in FCID. His name is Emmanuel um, Akuma. He's still there. He's been, he has spent 300 days, 300 days in detention because he wrote a comment against Buhari on Twitter. It's, you know, they are trying to break him. This guy is staying strong. And I call on all of you who are watching. His name is Emmanuel Akuma. Uh, to please let's put pressure whatever way we can put pressure to get this guy released you know they just take him to court every day they just waste his time just as they do to me and uh, mandate take us to court to waste our time bring false witnesses and then adjourn for another three months so that they keep us busy until another election comes and they put an incompetent fool as the president of nigeria like we have now uh, we can't afford to do that. Please, let's fight for Emmanuel Akuma. This guy is a pharmacist. He works with NAFDAC. He has spent 300 days in FCID detention. And he told me, which broke my heart, that the person who initiated the case is Ibrahim Lamode. He's a DIG now. Lamode used to be the chairman of uh, EFCC. I couldn't believe that Lamode is that heartless. But let me tell you, any policeman can be heartless. That's how they're trained. So don't be don't be surprised at anything they do. Manuel Akuma is his name. Please write down his name. Put him in your prayers for those of you who believe in prayers. But for the rest of us, let's keep this guy's name on our lips until his you know the charges, the bogus charges, the frivolous charges, and the human charges has kept him in detention for 300 days. Uh, uh, are withdrawn by the Buhari, and you know, the criminal Buhari regime, right? Emmanuel Akuma is his name. Yes. So, um, thank you guys. I will take a break now until I see you next. I'll be in touch with you regularly. Like I said, nobody, yes, it's free Aku Emmanuel Akuma, free Emmanuel Akuma. Nobody uh, can shut your mouth if you don't shut it. You know, there are over 70 million of us out there, 40 million of us on Facebook alone. All the people in government, armed forces, civil servants, judges, they are not up to it. They are not up to 10, they are not up to two, 2 million in Nigeria. How can 2 million people be holding 200 million to run, 200 million people to ransom? It doesn't make sense. Yes. Yes, I have a scam, I know, so right, my, uh, I'm still going to check myself out in the hospital tomorrow to be sure that I don't my nose is not completely broken because I still get pain from that side. But guys, uh, thank you. I wish I could take questions. Oh, Valentine Akaba, thank you so much. Hassan, a fair boy, uh, said I'm a noise maker. Well, the people that are making the noise to know that I'm not a noise maker, but I thank you. I appreciate that you are on my page and you're making these comments. We love you guys. Even those of you who just do it for the sake of being egregious, you know, we're all fighting together, and I'm sure you don't like this country the way it is, and you prefer a better country. But perhaps for reasons best known to you, 
you decide to say things that just makes you feel good. But I hope you feel good that this country is the way it is today. But I'm sure you're not. So guys, uh, again, thank you so much. Uh, we are 